Welcome one, welcome all to a very special new show from the life of Grammy. But I totally messed that up. Let me start over. <laughs> Josh, are you eating? <laughs> it I is like it. a break room. <laughs> this is great. Okay. Uh, we'll keep this beginning. Okay. You'll see. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to a brand new show from the life of gaming. We hope you really enjoy this. Something new we're going to try. And this is what we're going to call The Break Room, where we're actually just going to kind of chill. This is, you know, after our normal podcasting hours, we're just kind of talking about some additional topics outside of the podcast. Um, and today, we're going to be talking about Nintendo Switch. Now, I know everybody's talking about the Switch and what's going on with the Switch uh, with, with launch day, but... We were kind of talking, you know, outside the show about what's going to happen for the future of Switch. What what changes do we want to see? You know, we we if you listen to this week's recent podcast, we can talk about some of the, the cons of being early adopters. But what needs to be changed? What kind of change do we think is going to happen when the first first year? How many? What kind of change do you think is going to happen by the end of the life cycle? Because um, obviously, most consoles. You know, where they start day one and where they end are completely different. I mean, Xbox is a very good example of that. Um, PlayStation, from the beginning to the end, pretty much doesn't really change, at least UI-wise. I mean, they do some under-the-hood stuff. But Nintendo also does some, some, some changes as well. So, I guess we'll kind of kick things off and just, you know, where do you think the Switch is going to be at the by the end of this year? Um, now, Brant... Well, actually, you know what, Chris, you you were the one that kind of brought this topic to my mind. What do you think is going to happen by the end of the year? Where's the Switch going to be? Because right now, if you look at the Switch, it is a very, very simple interface. Like, there's hardly anything there. The eShop is extremely simple. Um, you know, uh, online friends, there's really not much there. Uh, and even, even the hardware itself is having some problems. Sure. So what do you think is going to happen? Yeah, so I, I so I envision two updates this year, two. Um, like two major, like major updates. Uh, you know, I mean, they, they may have uh, whatever. Um, so I, I think that we'll get one pretty quick here. Uh, we we uh, on our last show, we talked uh, the last podcast. We actually talked a little bit about um, uh, kind of the online infrastructure and, and kind of when that's coming. And the idea is that Mario Kart is around the corner. It's, it's April twenty eighth. That makes a lot of sense. They're putting a lot of marketing tools behind that. Um, that is really a multi multiplayer focused experience. So it would make a lot of sense to go ahead and have that infrastructure there um, on April 28th. So we could see the first update that early. Um, and then uh, and then we had a guest on the show. Uh, Jesse uh, was on the show uh, last week. Um, and he mentioned that uh, maybe at E3, which would be a great, you know, like an E3 reveal. Hey, we're adding this, this, and this, and guess what? You can download it right now. And that that could also be kind of a cool reveal. And that's that's May. So somewhere kind of in that in that pocket, I think that we're going to get our first update. I think what's going to come there is going to be um, mostly just like the beginning of the online infrastructure. And then I think we'll see another huge update. Um, around the time Splatoon comes, which will be the end of summer. So I, I would, I, I expect Splatoon to hit August or September, and then I expect that to be the big, the big update that will then have the official paid online service in place mm -hmm. for the for the you know October November holiday rollout with Mario. And so I, so I, I see, I see two updates. But then to answer your question, like like what do I expect to see? Um, I expect eShop to change a lot. Uh, eShop right now is basically just one screen, and it's mm -hmm. just a it's just a, a rolling tile uh, of uh, or a rolling list of tiles that are just just games. Um, there's no way, especially when you look at like the uh, the Nindy showcase, mm -hmm. and they show like well they showed like. 20 or 30 games or whatever it was on that splash. Toe Jam and Earl's coming. I'm super excited Toad, about yeah, that. Toe Jam and Earl's coming. Brent, but I'm mean, going to be playing through some Toe Jam and Earl, man. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. uh, I'm, I mean, boom, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped for boom, Steam World boom, Dig 2, boom, man, boom, and Stardew boom, Valley. Boom, yeah. Just so many good games. But I mean, as they start coming out, um, you, you know, you're going to have to clean that up a little bit. And I think that they want to, if you're familiar with the Wii U, um, eShop or the 3DS eShop, they have those little things that are like, oh, games under $5, and here are games that star Mario, and mm -hmm. here are 
games you can play with you know you know co-op or, or whatever and they had like these and then they, they break them all out so so there has to be something like that in the near future i don't think they want to roll into a holiday season um where they've already added dozens of games by the time you hit there with not having a a robust um, eShop. So let's so so let's just kind of jump in there. What, what do you guys want to see? I mean, but uh, now I know Josh. Josh, you had a 3DS at some point, right? He did, um, but he sold it. But he sold it that two of them. That, that loser. Oh, a DS and a 3DS. Okay, yeah, so okay. um, so I so not let's like the system. Okay, so but 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 oh, you're very you're very familiar with PlayStation and, and kind of how their shop works, and mm-hmm. and that'll actually this actually may may be a good uh, kind of a good contrast because me and James are both used to both Wii U and 3DS eShops. Right. So um, what wh- what are things that like what would you like to see like in the eShop like it's not there now or mm-hmm. just like a feature or uh, so let's just kind of t- kind of talk about that a sec. I think um, for Sony and. I don't know much about Microsoft, but for me, they have the problem with those eShops, and they have a good variety of things you can purchase and look at, but they're very convoluted, and there's too much stuff being forced down your <laughs> tube, I guess, <laughs> which is a problem. Stuff down <laughs> your video game and throat. <laughs> oh, I don't want tube. anything forced down <laughs> my <laughs> tube. TV. <laughs> <laughs> When you look at your TV, there's just too much stuff to process. And the one thing I do like about the eShop right now for Nintendo is that (laughs) there's just nothing there, but it's simple. And I hope that they maintain that simplicity, even Mm -hmm. with their UI, how it's laid out right now. It's just really snappy, and you have your profile pictures up above. You have the... Mm-hmm. the toolbar much like what p the ps4 has which is nice hopefully mm-hmm. down the road they add folders that you can yeah, put stuff i would in. love that's that's one thing i love about my wii my wii u and my 3ds i've got folders here's my wii u games yeah. here's my indie games here's my virtual console games i put them yeah. in folders love it but actually yeah. brant one thing i want to i want to mention that nintendo has come out and said um part of the reason we're not just getting a flood of indie games nintendo is being very conscious of what's being put on their eShop. They're kind of bringing yes, back the Nintendo support. What is that called? Nintendo seal stamp of approval quality. or seal of quality. Seal of They're Sony. bringing that back because yeah. they don't want, because with Sony and Microsoft, there is just so much garbage on there. It's and it, becoming it's, ridiculous. It's like turning like, like the, like the iPhone store, the Android store. There are literally yes. thousands upon thousands upon, like it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's mind blowing how much garbage is on there because if something's only going to sell like a hundred copies, and it's just a terrible game. Yeah. Why are you putting it on the store? And that's yeah, the that's absolutely. the thing. They have a good rollout program mm-hmm. for indies they're showcasing, and those and they're not just throwing anything out. And that's another positive thing that's gonna like they'll have different sections of the eShop, maybe like what's new, and then I don't know how many times they discount. I don't think Nintendo discounts their games too much, which is a problem. No, but hopefully they never. have a tab for That's what my Nintendo is for. That's how you get your discounts. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. Because you so, have to go so, and have so my speaking, Nintendo account and you get like 30% here and 20% there. And, yeah. Speaking of the store, do you guys have, either of you have physical games? For the Switch? Yeah. Yeah, for the Switch. Yes. So well, Zelda's you Switch all I have. I got Zelda. Zelda. Do, you, do you know that you have to manually add those points to your account? Yes, you have to go in and you hit start on options. a game, go to the option to go to um, yes. redeem coins. Yep. Yes. Yeah. So, so Brant, you don't have a – well, you technically have a My Nintendo account now that you have a Switch. If you want to start collecting yeah. coins, um, you they don't give away awesome physical stuff. Like I got some pretty cool Mario statues and stuff like that back there. You can't get that kind of stuff anymore. But they yeah, do give digital. like, you know – um, sometimes they give away free Game games. Codes. Free games is very yeah. rare, but they do have like 30% off this and 50% yeah. off that. And you kind of use these coins to take the discount when you want it. Yeah. Well, on, uh, on, on March 10th for, for Mario day, they actually, um, released, uh, a 30% off for Mario Kart eight on the Wii U, but also with, uh, you could actually get the DLC completely, um, with, with your points, Right. Um, you know, so, so sometimes they'll do like DLC but and stuff too. With but. that though, it's kind of like why, because you know Mario Kart Deluxe is no, right no, in the corner. I know. So, I, 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 I understand. I'm just, I'm just saying that every right. now and then they'll they'll do something like that. They sure. also they also just added a couple of days ago a section that says Switch, um, but then oh, it just says okay. 
that's coming soon on, on the website. Well, so they are going to be adding some Switch rewards. Soon, sure. So. Um, anything else to add about the eShop brand? No, we kind of cut you off there. Um, is there anything else you want to see on there? Because I know you said you like the simplicity. Um, yeah, but, just keep everything simple. Sure. Now, let me ask you something else. Right now, you know, we're all friends on Switch, right? We had these friend codes and all that wonderful stuff, yeah, which they said they're getting rid of. Codes. They said they're getting yeah. rid of friend codes. They're going to start adding Facebook and Twitter integration with your friends with them on there. You can add them on your Switch and all this stuff, which is great. Right. Um, but right now, your friends just sit on a list, mm -hmm. and it says when they're online, yes. and that's it. I mean, yes. what what do you think it Nintendo? Shows what they're playing, right? Too. But what what do you think Nintendo needs to do with friends? What what kind of interaction do you want to have with the people on your list? Well, going back to Sony and Microsoft, it'd be nice to invite people into voice chats um, <laughs> with their new program, though on the cell phones. I wonder how they're going to incorporate that. But um, that would be nice. Um, seeing they don't have an achievement or trophy system so it was always cool looking at your friends list and seeing what they had that you you could compare and stuff mm -hmm. um it'd be nice to know what they've been playing like a list like you can look at any friend on your sony list and see what they've been playing and like it's easy to get into a multiplayer game with them you just click on their profile pic if they're in a game you can actually just ask to be accepted into it then just go straight into it so yeah, they have a lot of room because they, they've never done anything like this before Nintendo, so hopefully right. they start yeah. implementing do, these do with you, the online structure. Do you think they're going to have this by the end of the first year, or do you think this is something that's going to take time to roll out? Well, like it's, we're going to be paying for their online structure near the end of the year is what they say, mm -hmm. so hopefully around then they have more of a robust plan of what you can do with your friends and when you can accept friend notifications and um yeah i i really don't know just the end of this year early next year is would be ideal for that stuff yeah so 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 and, and i'll i'll continue because i i agree and you know and going back to again the topic uh you know being what we think is you know is going to be there mm -hmm. um uh, not necessarily what we want because there's obviously some pie in the sky things we sure. all love to see, including an achievement system, which I do not think Nintendo will add. Um, but I do think that. Um, what did, do you think they're going to add one? Well, no. What I what I think they may do, uh, what they have right now, they don't they have, have it in games. Right, they've got it in games, but what they also have, like a Super Mario Run with Fire Emblem um, Heroes, as that was called on the phone. What they have right now, if you're connected to your My Nintendo account, they have special achievements on there where if you do them in game, you get Nintendo coins. You get you get gold coins, you get silver coins, depending on what you do specific in the game. I think, honestly, they're probably gonna do that for all their games because they have it on their mobile games right now. It's kind of like a now, testing ground. But I I have a feeling when this full online rolls out, um, your Switch games are already connected to your My Nintendo account anyway. Why not earn coins for 100 percent in the game? Which that's or, cool. You know that that'll be awesome. Because yeah, Sony I, doesn't I think, do that. I you don't get stuff do for earning trophies. I was gonna say I think they'll do that. Yeah, yeah, and and I, and I guess that makes sense. I mean, most games nowadays, anyways, are um, you know, built for multi platforms, and even Steam has achievements, so it makes sense that they that they would do something. I sure. I, I agree with that. What I, what I was gonna say though is I do think we're gonna get a much more um a much more like detailed thorough uh friend hub and uh now there are some things that i really want on there that i don't know that we will see mm -hmm. i really like the way xbox does um and, and again i don't have a playstation so i can't speak to it but i i could i could really care less about achievements i i absolutely detest achievements but um what I, what i love about uh xboxes is when you go to compare achievements there is a whole section before you even get to the achievements that's just like comparing uh different things so like time played how many enemies killed you know like in the lego games it's like how many studs collected you know how many you know areas unlocked stuff like that so giving you actually like milestones like we're sharing screenshots now of, of our zelda loading screen because it shows how many heart containers we oh, have right. and how many shrines we mm -hmm. beat you know but to be able to like go into you know james 
games or, you know, to Josh's profile and be like, oh, I wonder how, you know, how well he's doing, you know, on Mario Kart and seeing, oh, he's beat this many cups and, you know, oh, he's unlocked this many racers. Mm -hmm. Like that stuff's kind of cool. I don't know that they'll go that far, but I do think they're going to have a very interactive hub where you're going to be able to see a lot more details. And I think that it, it kind of, it kind of comes back to what we're talking about, where they're really trying to push an online infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And I think that you're, I think that you're going to get some of that. Um, but I, but I will say, and and I'll, I'll stop. I will say, I think most of that's going to be on mobile. Um, I, sure. I think that I think that their idea is to drive this through mobile. So I think you'll have a, a dumbed down version of it on the console, but you'll be able to see most of that stuff on your phone whenever you're connecting to parties and stuff like that. Cool. Well, uh, one five. Actually, I got a two part question. First question, just yes or no answer, because Nintendo Switch is handheld, right? It's mostly handheld console. You can dock it. Are we going to get a Nintendo Switch revision? Kind of like we have the new 3DS or the DSi. Do you think we're going to get some kind of revision? Chris is shaking his head no. Brant, what about you? Yeah, I think... I, because we already get the Xbox One S. Adopters. We already got the Nintendo... I mean, the um, PS4 it Slim It won't be Pro. more powerful or something, but they'll do something to... Like, they'll have different skins and such, but I think they'll actually... The dock has been an issue for some mm -hmm. people and they're recalling certain docks, so they'll definitely remodel that... And maybe they'll have systems with more um, actual gigabytes oh, sure. <laughs> instead of the 32. So mm -hmm. you'll be able to, maybe they might go up to 128 or something mm -hmm. down the road. And then they'll have pack in system, you know, pack in a game two down the road, I believe. And so make so are you, are you asking if, if you're, they're going to, to like just cosmetic change the machine? Is no, that well, no, like kind of like the, um, like like Brant said, they'll release a new console. It'll have bigger memory in it, right? It'll yeah. have more internal memory, or um, kind of like the 3DS to the uh, new 3DS. It just added slightly more RAM. Things load a little faster. They ran a little better. The DS to the DSi, they added the camera. Like it, you know, it, it's the, it's in the same family. It's roughly the same system, but they did something to change it. So so I'll I'll answer that um real quick in, in two in two parts. I I do see them I do, I do see them possibly uh, altering like like the dock um you know because that does seem to be an issue for some people although I have had no problem sure. with it. Um I, but I don't see them necessarily revising the switch um specifically my whole idea is I don't think Nintendo will ever make another console. I think that the future of Nintendo is this box. And I believe that at some point we will buy a Switch, which is just the tablet, mm -hmm. Switch 2 or new Switch or Switch 2019 or whatever it's called mm -hmm. that will fit in the same dock that we have with the same Joy-Cons that we have. We're just buying another unit. And I right. think that and is that... their next step. Right. I don't I don't think that i think they're going to re, re, re like redo the switch as it is now i think that that's going to be like an ipad this is their next iPad. exactly right exactly that that's kind of where i was going with that kind of like right, how yeah. the 3ds the original 3ds and the new 3ds it's the same system but exactly. yeah but it has more ram in it it's, it's got fast processing power in it yeah. so that's kind of like what you're talking about and that's exactly yeah. the same road same same uh yep. thinking it, um, I, I think that's what they're going to do. Because if you watch the Ben Heck show, you know, he, he rips apart technology and all that stuff, and he ripped apart the Switch. And I think he's, if I remember right, I think he said the the internal memory is extremely easy to update, and so is the internal storage. He said he opened up, yeah. you just like pop them in, pop them out. He said it's, just, it's like that. So yes. I think it all yeah. comes down to cost. And yep. I guess the second part of my question, because there's a two part, just to wrap this up real quick, how soon is it going to happen? Three years, five years. I mean, I, my, no, I, I, I personally soon. think, at the most, three years before we see a revision yeah. of of the switch. Yeah, that 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 yeah that. I mean, I, I think I I think I just said 2019. Yes, you did. Um, and the, and that's that's kind of where that's two years. That's that's kind of what 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 where my mind is. I, I think in two years we will see a re revised hardware, and I think that they will start yeah. selling it as a tablet, or you can buy uh, like the full pack 
but for those of us who already bought it, it's like everything, Pro Controller, Joy-Cons, your you know SD memory card, everything you have works. You literally just are buying the tablet. And so they'll sell it for like sure. $100 cheaper or, or whatever for just the tablet, and then they'll still sell like the full package. Sure. So yeah, I say two years. Okay, Brent, what they, do you think? How yeah, many they all, Nintendo is the king of iterating consoles with mm -hmm. the 3ds and <laughs> ds well, they, they did it on the game boy right they had the game boy and the game boy pocket and the game boy and micro and game boy. yeah and it's, it's just all oh, yeah they do that a ridiculous amount maybe not yeah. making something more powerful except for the new 3ds but yeah they'll have something that <laughs> right well even the ds to the dsi they had some some slight hardware improvements in there Sure. Um, and yeah. I, I really think because even if you look at the PS4, to the PS4 Slim, it's technically the same hardware, but the Slim is a slightly more powerful. It runs cooler. It's smaller. It uses better technology. Sure. Um, it, it's probably going to be something similar on the Switch. Yep. But, uh, okay, guys, yeah. we hope you enjoyed this little breakout conversation. The very first episode of The Break Room. So we're taking our water cooler conversation and throwing it in your living room or wherever you're watching this. Computer, <laughs> tablet, whatever. <laughs> But uh, that's it for us, guys. Until next time, we are out. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this content from the life of gaming. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe down below. You can also catch our weekly podcast every Sunday on iTunes, SoundCloud, and the Google Play Store. You can find us on Twitter, at Life Gaming Pod, and on Facebook. Until next time, we are out.